happening now. According to Mental Health America, nearly 170,000 more Americans have screened positive for depression or anxiety since the start of the coronavirus uh, pandemic. And mental illness can be a direct link to substance abuse. And Jillian Andrews reports on those struggling with addiction during the pandemic. Dean Miller works with people struggling with addiction in Springfield and says COVID-19 is taking a toll. All this leaves people in addiction more or less alone. And um, unfortunately, most of the people that deal drugs, they're open. Technology has helped keep communication open for patients and counselors. But it isn't the same as meeting in person. Experts say meeting in person helps those at risk of relapse stay accountable. And I feel like that human engagement is gone. The lack of human engagement isn't the only thing that can lead to substance abuse. Any situation of stress or uncertainty increases the likelihood of people taking drugs. And if they are already taking drugs to escalate on their use, the number of drug overdoses is on the rise. The number of alerts has increased significantly since the COVID epidemic. Uh, so that, that is one, I mean, 30, 40 percent. Dr. Volkoff says while the healthcare system is dealing with the pandemic, those struggling with addiction may not be getting the attention they need. And Counselor Miller <laughs> says that leads to even more anxiety. And as scared as everybody is, imagine how scared you are if you're in the middle of an addiction and you're not knowing every day how, how it's gonna go. Miller says that those struggling should try to keep to a routine, stay busy, and when challenged, do the next best thing. Jillian Andrews, Ozarks First.